So y'all, before I show y'all the cast iron oven, look at the area that we're in. This is BLM land in, uh, the sun is barely peeking through the sky. It's playing peekaboo. We are on BLM land in Lake Havasu, uh, Arizona. This is the first time that I have been on BLM land in Lake Havasu. Uh, and you know, we've had a pleasant experience. This is where the people come and ride, uh, those little cars that they ride or whatever. I don't even know what you call it. So let me show y'all. I got the Starlink out trying to get, uh, my little power station charged up with the solar and this is the cast iron i'm gonna call this an oven this fire pit was already here as you can see somebody had some cans in there uh, so i am going to show you guys the oven i think the man that had this uh oven used it he was like oh somebody used it and was cooking in it i think he was cooking in it girl but anyway this is the cast iron oven let me know if you ever seen anything like this before and give me some ideas if you have cooked in this type of thing before give me some ideas of what i can cook in here besides a chicken and a turkey because girl we're gonna be using this for everything and you can flip it over and use the other part for a pot but i need to clean this out really 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 well so i do have some um uh, some salt i bought some salt to clean this with i brought some like uh scrubbing pads and so that's what i'm gonna use to clean this out with today i need to go put on a jacket because i'm cold but yeah i'm gonna uh hook up my camera and i'm gonna kind of go like over here where i can empty this out and pour it out and it won't be i won't make a mess close to my van and this is metal you guys i don't know what this part is for like if you put the turkey on that i don't i don't know what all this these pieces are for so if you guys know what all these pieces are for let me know because this is my first time owning something like this but i'm glad to be the proud owner of this uh, item I just love it you guys I love that right there okay y'all so I got the cast iron skillet and I have stuff to uh, clean it with now I did learn from Miss uh, Mary when I camped with her last year how to clean cast iron. I didn't know there was a certain way that, does this come out? I didn't know that there was a certain way to clean cast iron. But I did learn from Miss Mary that you uh, don't clean it with soap and you use salt. And I don't even know if you're supposed to put this kind of uh, scrubbing pad on it but that's what I'm gonna use and I need to get some water I have a little water in this thing I need to go get some more water so we're gonna do that to start with and we're gonna take some salt and put it in here. So right now, that's all I'm using is salt and this kind of padding, not a Brillo pad, because that has cleaner on it. And they said that your pot, when you, uh, what do they call it? When you seal your pot or what do they call it when you, I don't know what they call it. When you put the pot on the fire and season it. When you season your pot, uh, 
you don't want to clean it with soap because it strips the seasoning off so i'm gonna go get some more water and then i will start cleaning the pot so you guys i have some more water in my little dish pail there and i am taking the uh pad with the salt and the water and i'm just scrubbing uh the cast iron really well uh when the water got really 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 dirty i went and poured it out put some more salt and some more water in there and then i proceeded to clean the other part of the top <coughs> and you guys as you can see this was a lot of elbow grease uh i am scraping the little grill thing as well you guys i am loving my new cast iron oven i am so happy that i'm the proud owner of this cast iron oven you guys i love it you are going to see this uh cast iron oven on a lot of my uh future videos also you can i can imagine baking a cake in there i can imagine cooking a stew in here so you guys give me some more ideas and let me know if anybody out there owns this cast iron oven if you do own it and you have some recipes for me that i can cook in it you can email me at vanessa's van life journey at yahoo.com that's v-a-n-e-s-s-a-s -S -S van life journey at yahoo.com Okay, y'all, I don't know if I was recording, but I'm finished cleaning the uh, cast iron out. I'm gonna get a towel and wipe this out, but I'm getting ready to start my fire. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm through cleaning my cast iron out. I'm gonna wipe it out with a towel and I'm getting ready to start my fire. I'm gonna put some rocks down in the bottom of my fire pit so those rocks could get hot i'm gonna put some small rocks in the bottom of my fire pit so the rocks could get hot and even after the fire go out the rocks can serve as coal i'm gonna start doing that to my fire let me know if any of y'all do that
Okay, y'all, I threw enough rocks down up in there. I would throw more in there, but I don't feel like walking back and forth. And I didn't want to get the rocks from right around here, which I could, it would be easier. But anyway, I'm getting ready to start a fire. Miss Charlene is over there cooking. Let me show y'all what she is cooking. So y'all, yeah, Miss Charlene is cooking on her little camp stove. So we both cooking, so we gonna have some food for the next couple of days. And all we gonna have to do is warm it up. So, yeah, what else you gonna cook? Just the patties and onions. So she gonna cook some patties and some onions. You can use as many of them onions as you want. And uh, yeah, we got liver in the uh, in the freezer too. Liver shrimp. If you wanna cook some liver. We got some liver to cook. You need some liver for your dogs to cook? Cause we got a pack for them too in the freezer. No, they still have some chicken and liver left. Okay. So you guys, I placed the uh, cast iron on the fire and I put some butter inside of the uh, cast iron oven. And then once that gets hot enough, I take it off. I put the other one on there and I rotated the process, spread some more butter in there, let the other one get hot, um, wipe it uh, with a towel to spread the butter all the way around because you don't want to leave it like too watery and anything like that because you want it to seal and coat the whole uh part of it so that's how i did it you guys and i just continued the process until my wood pile burned completely down okay you guys so i did finish seasoning uh my cast iron skillet you guys i forgot to show you the inside it was so clean it was so smooth no rust in the inside of it i really like the way it came out and this process really 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 doing it over an open fire it really worked really well and uh, I am pleased with how my cast iron skillet looks. Now, I'll show it to you in a future video, the inside of it, you guys. Uh, but uh, if you have some cast iron that you want to clean, just continue to do this process. I did use butter and then I also used some coconut oil. And so that is going to be it for this video, you guys. I'm getting ready to cook uh the chicken in my rotisserie oven and i'll show you that process in a different video thank you so much for watching and tuning in don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time i upload a new video look below the video at the subscribe button if it is black you are not subscribed to the channel hit it once then hit the bell and then hit all so you can be notified each and every time i upload a new video and if you want to support the channel in any shape form or fashion all my information is in the description box below just look below the video and click more twice or the down arrow twice thank you so much for watching and i appreciate you guys happy new years and have a blessed and wonderful day